You're following developing news from Meriden, where a middle school student who was in school this morning has tested positive for COVID-19. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarlane is live outside Lincoln Middle School with all the details. Matt. Well, Aaron, here's what we know. Apparently, a parent sent their child to school this morning while still awaiting the test results. That's a big no-no, a violation of the school district's policy. Well, then later this morning, the Meriden Health Department alerted the school that that child had, in fact, tested positive. Now, not only will that student need to quarantine for 14 days, but so will their classmates. Parents picking up their kids at Meriden's Lincoln Middle School tell us the email put them on edge. An alert from the district that a student here tested positive for COVID-19. It's overwhelming because I have my sixth, year, my sixth grade son here in the school. So I'm afraid, you know, it could be him. You know, was he in the class? Is he a sixth grader? So it is very overwhelming. According to Meriden Superintendent, the student showed up at the school this morning not knowing the results of a recent test. Despite all health guidance, the parents sent the student to school while waiting for the test results. Not only does this impact this family, but also the classroom of students. While Meriden is going all in with in-person learning this school year, the middle school, which houses sixth, seventh, and eighth graders, is using a cohort model, trying to limit classrooms to no more than 25 students and keeping those kids together throughout the day. If not for our strict cohorting model, many more students could have been impacted. The student who tested positive has now been excluded from school and is home for isolation. In a video message to parents and staff throughout the district, Meriden Superintendent says the city's health department is contact tracing, reaching out to all families whose kids are considered a close contact of the positive student. Due to cohorting, only the students in this class are required to quarantine for 14 days. They will not be able to return to school until September 25th. And the superintendent stresses, if a child is not feeling well, don't send them to school. The same goes if they've been tested and you're still waiting those results. The parents should have been more responsible enough not to send their kid to school and follow the rules of the school district and the state department of education. And again, the Meriden Health Department is now reaching out to families who uh, consider that their child might have had close contact with this student that tested positive. So a good way to look at it is that if you don't get contacted by the health department in this contact tracing, you should be good to go. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in Meriden. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.